next up, it's time for another story around the campfire. Amanda! I got to hit this comment just because it, it made me laugh when I saw it. <laughs> uh, as Michael says, ain't this a bitch? Chris Rock finding out DCS rated Benny loves you higher than Spiral. Yeah, sorry, Chris. Uh, you know, I, I can't explain it, but... What the fuck is that shit about? <laughs> there you go. I um, didn't. And, and it looks like Angelo says, talking about stupid shit. Did you ever, sh did you ever do a show... About the trauma films. Oh, God, no. We do have to do that at some yeah, point. we do have to do that. That is absolute needs to be put on the list. And James says, no pizza for him tonight. <laughs> so, all right. Our next story around the campfire, we're going to review uh, Fried Berry, which is available on Shutter Now. Uh, man, this is quite the trip. Uh, Ziggy, won't you get a start? Right? Yeah. It's me. No. No, is that no. Just spiral? You did this. <laughs> okay, so Colonel, well, everything's everything's oh, flipped score, in off my. Right yeah, the score yeah. screwed me. Go ahead, yeah. Colonel. Right. Fryberry, initial thoughts. Oh, uh -oh. Let, me, let me pull up my stat. So here was my initial thoughts watching Fried Berry. All right, did you know there are seven point two million people in South Africa, which is where this film was made, um, that are living with HIV or AIDS? At the end of 2019. That explains it because, dude, this dude lays more pipe in the first 10 minutes <laughs> than some people. And two out of the, one out of the three is fucking unprotected, man. It's fucking nuts. But that being said, man, this movie was a trip. I was really digging the concept of this film. Just to fill you in a little bit, this guy gets abducted by aliens. He gets brought back to Earth and he's being controlled by an alien. The facial expressions are enough. For you to fucking lose it. I mean, he's doing doing everything, man. He's just here, smoke this. Here, watch this. And he's just, you know, living the human fucking life. The first hour is fucking great. <laughs> that last 36 minutes, though, man, that's the the uniqueness of it wore off for me. It just it felt drags. so dragged out. Yeah. But that's really the only knock I have on this movie. It would have been much better suited at you know the 70 to 76 minute mark. Just cut 20 minutes off of it, and it would have been fantastic. But yeah. it's still worth a watch. And uh, yeah, like uh, I think Corey said, dude, we had a bunch of people together in some run down fucking theater. That, that would be an experience. Fucking, this screen's fucking, uh, what's that movie fucking called? I'm having a brain fart. You reminded me of the guy. Uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Don't know why I forgot about it. All of a sudden. Yeah, Riff Raff. Yeah, yeah fucking, he looked like Riff Raff. And as I'm telling you, you got a small enough theater, enough people to see this. Because I think this movie could have a huge cult following like that. Mm -hmm. It'd be fun to think of games to come up with with this movie, watching it, and just have a blast. Speaking of your uh, statistic that you wanted to quote from uh, South Africa, uh, this is the only one that, it's the only Chris Rock drop I haven't had a chance to use yet. Anybody can suck a dick! So that fits, I guess. Uh, I've been trying to figure out a way where to squeeze that in somewhere. <laughs> but, yeah, this, dude, just a weird, weird fucking film. And I swear to God, the guy they hired for the main actor for Barry, uh, they only hired him because he could do all that weird shit with his face. Ziggy, initial thoughts on uh, Fried Barry. Yeah, man, this is one of them weird-ass fucking way-out-there movies. Uh, again, I was laughing my ass off through, you know, a good half of it, and then that's it. The novelty exactly wears off. Mm -hmm. You're just kind of like, ah, you know, where are we going, man? man this is, and it plays out. But once again, we have a big blockbuster movie theft, plot steal here. Anybody seen E.T.? <laughs> that's when they lost me, dude. When he ET'd the guy with the heart attack, that's it. I was like, "Fuck this shit, I'm out." That's it. I was I, I wasn't invested anymore after that, man. And then 
they completed it by doing the complete goddamn ET ending and shit. Same fucking thing. Oh, that's, well, that's, well, yeah. Sort of. Sort of. Sort of. Uh, sort of yeah, because he... Well, I don't want to talk... I don't want to mention that, but... Um, Dave says, I love stupid shit. Can't wait to see this. I don't know if he's talking about uh, uh, either of these, Fryberry yeah. or yeah. Benny Loves You. It, it yeah. fits both, kind of. Um, I could easily tell that this director is more well-known in South Africa for mm. music videos. He's an award-winning music video director down there and very sought after. This is his feature debut. And yeah, it was kind of weak on the story, I will say. Now, I think a, I think you can go into this not expecting a story and enjoy the fuck out of it. Mm. But I... I it just it yeah. fell a little flat for me, and like Colonel and and I think you even said, it's a little long. An hour would have been good for this. But the main thing that pissed me off, and Colonel mentioned this already, this guy got more action in like ten minutes in the fucking movie, <sighs> looking like a crackhead, looking like riff raff on <sighs> meth, and then I could think of getting in like years, and it's driving me nuts. Uh, anyway, maybe that's just me. I'm just, I'm just bitter. <laughs> fuck, fuck you, Barry. <laughs> but, uh, what, what about the, uh, did you like the directing style? Did you like the flashy music video style directing that they did? Ziggy. I'll say, uh, like the scenes when he injected drugs as an alien were, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I can get on board with that. I mean, I've never personally done heroin, but, you know, it looks like, uh, you know, that kind of thing would be, you know, that's how it would look, I think. A lot of no, 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 and just tra trails <laughs> everywhere and shit. So, yeah, I mean, there's it's it's a lot of on top of stuff, a lot of crazy flashing lights around, lots of, you know, you could tell this guy makes music videos, but I mean, it, it's not, it fits with this goofy ass tail. You know, it doesn't, it's yeah. not distracting at all, so, yeah. I, uh, I chatted briefly with Ryan Kruger, the director, uh, on Instagram, just swapped a couple of messages with him um, last night. I was going to try to sneak him into the show, but being in South Africa, time change is real different now, uh, and he was having some major internet problems at, at that point, so... We're going to try to get him on maybe down the road when he has some, something else coming out because I, I think he's got he's got some talent. And if he finds the right script and is able to refine and hone in on his craft a little bit more, I think I think he'd be a fun director. Um, Colonel, what do you think of the directing style of this? Fit perfectly for this movie. Let's be honest, our main character... Doesn't say a whole hell of a lot for mm -hmm. obvious reasons. It plays exactly like a fucking music video. Man, like it's just the perfect mashup for this one. This is the perfect story to go that route. Okay. Like literally, it's a sound like you can put in some fucking techno music behind it. Or uh, I'm sure I'm going to butcher their name. Uh, the real big rap group from uh, South Africa, Dyke, Artwood, or Antwood, or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. Dude. It, it, put their music in there. It's one of their fucking music videos. Like, but it works. I mean, it's a fucking alien taking over his dude's body. Perfect. Perfect. Fair enough. Um, S. Michael says, "Me thinks Red Crank could use a vacation in South Africa. If it's that, if it's that fucking easy to get laid, I might be on my way." Fuck Don't me jump out of parachute, man. Shit, <laughs> that's great. You that is true. That is true. All right. I, I don't think there's a whole lot more to say about this one. Um, it's a different one. So let's get to the ranking. Uh, who? Colonel. Colonel. All right. <laughs> you guys are going to have to coach me a little bit here. No. Colonel, give us a number on. Yeah. Give us a number on Friedberry. I'm trying to have a toss up for it, man. Because, like I said, the first hour, I really enjoyed this movie. Just, man, it just felt so. Long and drug out. Uh, pun intended, I guess. Um, now this one's kind of a hard one to score. 
man, I'll, I'll give it a five. I, I can't since I can't really give it a solid score right now because I really dug the concept. But like I said, it's a brilliant concept. Mm-hmm. I was a little mad I didn't get my little alien on the inside, fucking Men in Black style patrolling this motherfucker. But hey, there's more positives than negatives, so I'll overlook that small aspect they should have had in there. Yeah, I thought it was going that way for a minute, Colonel. I was like, "Oh <laughs> damn, right? He called that shit. Look at this." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, it's it didn't go well. So a five. A five. How about you? Uh, five for the Colonel. Um, yeah, you know, I I did I did like it, and again, and and dude. If you're watching, you lost me at the ET healing part. You know, ouch! That was, you know, I. <laughs> I to me, it, I just went, "Oh my god!" You know, that's, I yeah, I remember the scene, and that. But having said that, it was still entertaining. I did laugh quite a bit at the, mm-hmm. the goddamn guy's facial expressions are priceless, man. When he yeah. is, <laughs> that's worth it, I think, right there. But. Um, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to give it a five and a half. Mm. Man, we are uh, kind of agreeing on a lot here, which is kind of frightening. (laughs) But it doesn't happen all the time, but it's happening a lot tonight because I'm giving this one a five, too. It's not not terrible, but it's not great. It's middle of the road for me. And, you know, that's sometimes that's all I need. It's entertaining enough. Um yeah. I do I do agree with uh, you guys and even some of the uh, – oh, BK says it would still cost you a couple bucks, Crank. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, BK. Fuck you. Um, S. Michael says some films are better left as short subjects. That's mm. what I'm saying. True. Uh, this one I, was, too. It was a short before it became this, a feature. So. Right. This was a short. Uh, we've covered a couple other ones that were like that before. And, man um, – yeah, I think it's just a better short. That's just me. So, fives, five and a half, and a five, right, Colonel? No. Yeah, 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 five. yeah. Shit. So, pay attention. So, middle of the road. Patricia says that guy looks scary. Yeah, he's, he's a uh, motherfucker, man. This is definitely yeah, worth one good view. Give it one good view, and then you you know you'll see where we're what the drift is. You know what I mean? What we're you smell what we're laying down. I'd agree with that. It's definitely worth a view, and I, I'm not a drug user at all, but I think this would be a much better watch on some kind of substance. Um, so that, that's that's all I'll say about that. So if you do partake in that, try it. Yes, I'm just also going to add, not this past Friday, but the Friday before last, uh, the week this movie premiered on Shudder, it was the second feature... On the last drive in with Joe Bob, I specifically stayed away from it just so I could watch it without Joe Bob's mm-hmm. influence on my watching of it. But if you want to watch it, I'd probably watch it with him so he'll break down and give you all these fucking stats behind it. And yeah, honestly, I think I probably enjoyed it a little bit more if I did watch in that setting. But like I said, I didn't, no influences on my review. I'm going with mm-hmm. an open mind. I don't need a you know, 60 year old guy from East Texas. Fill my head and try to think like him. So, all right. Well, there you go. So that's Fried Berry. It's available on Shutter right now, and it sounds like you can go back and watch it with Joe Bob if you want. So, uh, check it out and come back and let us know what you think. Ragnar. <laughs> I'm fucking real. Watch the Death Curse Society. Skippy from Family Ties, but you might know me as Ragman from Trick or Treat. Or you might be a millennial and not know me at all. I've grown to cope.
What up? It's the Colonel Death Cure Society. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I punched the numbers in my computer. The computer don't lie. If you don't subscribe and watch more videos, you may be a dead fuck. So be sure to click over here for more videos from Death Care Society.